Hello, my beautiful Sagittarians! Welcome to your weekly reading, weekly energies. This is for the last week in July. We are already moving, or let's say we are already into a new season, Leo season. Quite fiery energy, very strong energy as well, fellow fiery energy. At this time, it's quite an increasing energy related to your creativity or the energy of, I want to do something. Whatever here you are up to, now is a great time. As well as we are heading quite strongly towards the Lion's Gate. The peak of the Lion's Gate, you know, it's next month on 8-8, but start a lot sooner. So let's see, loves, what we have for this week energy, what's coming up, what you should know, what energy we are embracing. And Sagittarius, as always, know this messages could be strongly for you, could be towards something you do. Let's see. We have an Eight of Swords. Ten of Wands, Knight of Swords, Six of Wands, King of Pentacles, the Empress, Two of Pentacles, King of Wands, and the Moon, and the High Priestess. Don't be afraid to choose what's right for you, darlings. Take your time because this is coming with a change. Okay. So there's an energy here that definitely is up to change. I have a very strong feminine embracing the masculine. But I'm feeling here that many, many of you, Sagittarius, you are going to leave a situation that it's very small compared to where you go. Probably you felt something here, a big energy that it's great and you got to work, but now you are realizing that whatever you are going to leave behind, it's quite small. For some of you, you could leave a person behind who were narrow-minded or didn't never think out of the box or always been, you know, in a back and forth. So whatever here you're going, you know it's to your own good, which will bring change. Don't be afraid of change. Um, I'm keeping hearing that some of you, you are just feel like, well, yes, I'm going to change, but how that will look, you don't need to know. Let's see, loves. And of course, what is all about? I have a five of wands. Avoid any conflict, loves, because for some of you, you, you might get into an argument here with someone. For others of you, there are certain people in your life might not agree of what you do or how you do the things. Don't overthink. If they don't agree with you and you need to leave them behind, it's how it is. Because some people in our life are for a season for a reason or for the lifetime and ser several people here in your life are just for a season three of pentacles and a queen of pentacles so we have the king and we have the queen of pentacles for some of you this is a a type of work or whatever you work things out here but I feel here certain things here will work out perfectly. But yes, the beginning might not look really perfect. So for many, many of you Sagittarius, you're going to start this week a little, you know, upside down, let's say that, or a little shaky. Don't overthink whatever that is. But let me clarify this five of wands. Because I feel here everyone brings something which might not be the case. Five of Wands, Chariot. So whatever here brings to you and doesn't serve you any good, I don't see you staying. I don't see you, you know, 
be there it's like more likely you are gonna move away from them or gonna move away from whoever doesn't serve you at best yeah you see here chariot eight of cups lovers you definitely choose to walk away from something or someone or whatever situation is there it's kind of it's a choice but not necessarily the choice you would choose first thing first. One more card next to the lovers. The emperor. For some of you, this is a family situation here. Ace of Wands. For those of you who give chances to whomever and they were just not lasting or been a little while and then all over the place again. I have the Emperor and the Empress, okay? I also have the King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. And I have the Knight of Swords and the King of Wands. For some of you, you might be dealing here with an air sign or someone who always have something to say or always have a reaction of something or overreacting on the things and it's not because they are a bad person but because they don't see the things probably the way you see them or you do certain things in a way and they they not like it for some of you this person is just jealous of you so whomever is this person you deep, deep down know what you should do. For others of you, there is an issue here in the, in the family. And somebody here definitely could say certain things. But it's kind of they are saying these things because of the fear or feels like nothing is gonna work or there's some kind of fear based on what can be or what should be. For some of you, this uh, arguments or fights are re related to a work situation or a situation that you are not feeling good about it. Okay, let's see here. Queen of Pentacles, speak to me here. Queen of Cups, Two of Wands, Tower. There's a decision here again, is not uh, doesn't feel it's suitable or it's not really good, but it's a big pivotal moment. It's a big pivotal moment, and Temperance is kind of like bringing balance whatever here this tower happens is gonna bring you balance whatever major decision here to be made and not only balance peace hope look at here whatever here is going down or crushing down or going away is gonna bring you peace stability you know, sometimes we need to fall down so we can stand up stronger. That's that's the energy here. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But I'm feeling here, whatever here is going away, there is a lot of protection. For some of you, you are very strong, protected by the spirits, by the higher beings. Whatever here is happening or whatever here is going away or in which way goes away five of cups and the knight of pentacles that's is towards movement something here whatever it's going away now it's transforming into something for the long run whatever that is i have the knight of swords and the knight of pentacles the um, the knights who are opposites 
for some of you, you might deal here with a very opposite person or someone very different views of life. For others of you, a situation here that is not going anywhere is going to change. So it's kind of the, the point is much different than were or supposed to be. If we're a situation here with up and downs, now things are going to get in a better, suitable way. Yes, look at this. It's, uh, it's a big energy of universe intervention into whatever here is happening or it's going on. Why you are so much worrying about it? Nine of Swords. Why you are worrying so much here? Somebody here is worrying about how the things will work out or for some of you there is a work situation that you are worried about. Full. This is a something new or some kind of um, action to to be taken or to go towards but it's something here that you you feel that i have everything it takes to to do and work around yes eight of pentacles somebody here there is a sagittarius who definitely looks for a a major change or whatever here the things were were doing or being till this moment needs to to move forward i want to see here why you are in this two of pentacles sagittarius why you are not quite sure because spirit says you you kind of worry for nothing don't overthink whatever it is. For some of you, you need to, to definitely distance yourself from ser several people or certain people who are not like-minded or like you or think like you. Or some of you, you need just to, to do what you need to do the way you want and not tell anyone unless the things are already in place. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Ace of Cups, Three of Swords. Something here really hurts. And we have the Knight of Cups. For some of you, you clearly feel like I need to give a chance to whatever it is. Even though I am not quite sure if I should do that look at here clarifying this two of pentacles should i or should i not ten of swords ace of cups three of swords and knight of cups and the ace of swords clearly you need this there's something here about you do need this you do need this for some of you there is a situation here that you you gotta try out Whatever that is, you need to try out. As well, now I am seeing here the two of, um, once two of cups here underneath and the two of pentacles we just clarified. And that really speaks of the two of swords is the one missing. For some of you, deep into your heart, you don't see this. But deep down, your energy your spirit guides, your intuition is telling you, you don't need to see this. You don't need to see this. Listen the voice within. Allow it. Okay. For others of you, for others of you, it is someone here doesn't see the opportunity ahead. Or it's afraid for what can be. But I feel here, when it's coming, they will trust and see clearly. You know, some people don't believe in you unless they see results. That's kind of a thing here. 
and somebody here might not see the results unless you are going to have the results in your hands. Whatever the energy here is, if somebody here it's about to sign a contract work-wise, they might say, well, that job is not going to offer you anything or is not going to grow or something here is not going to go. But I feel here some of you, before walking, you choose to stand up into your power and do and work towards it. I don't see you giving up. That's the thing here. It's like you you rather go with the risk and see than give up in the beginning. The three of pentacles here, the sun. I feel here, look at here, we do have the moon and we have the sun now. So that really speaks here that some of you, again, you don't need to see it clear. You just need to go and do it. Something here you you must kind of doing it. Even nobody even believes you. Even nobody trusts you. Even somebody here might tell you, drop it out. Because whatever is given to you, it's between you and the higher beings, not between you and someone who doesn't believe you. Everybody has a calling. Everybody has a path. Which not everybody needs to understand it. Not everyone needs to make sense. Not everything needs to make sense. But when we trust the energies, that's when miracles happen. And for some of you Sagittarius, definitely here looks like a miracle happen. Certain things here are happening for a reason. And I feel here, whatever here is happening, you just need to give it a chance. You just need to give it a try. I have at this time the... Um, three aces, the, the cup, swords, and the wands. The only ace missing here at the moment, it's ace of pentacles. The universe offers you a gift, but this gift comes wrapped out in a big, big box. But the gift looks like very, very tiny. However, this gift can expand tremendously, tremendously. Bigger than just a box even saying that okay advice for you loves of what's going on here because i feel here some of you you are in such a debate you know this is gonna happen you know this is ju not just for nothing but somebody here kind of needs to chill out Somebody here really worries about you or worries about what's going on or how the things are going to... It's like they they probably don't trust or they are in a, in an energy that doesn't, doesn't match yours. Let's see. As well, we do have three knights. The only knight missing is knight of wands. And for some of you, whatever here it's happening behind the scene, it's going to bring you freedom. Whatever if you are looking for free from worries or free from a job or free from some, some things that hold you in one place, I'm, I'm seeing here is like for some of you, whatever it's coming, it's it's amazing. But this is kind of coming in a certain way that you, it's it's almost you don't see this way or almost to believe that other people are right. But that inner void doesn't let you. Advice for my Sagittarius. Ten of Pentacles. Two of Cups. 
here's your night. You are moving into a new abundance energy with, towards the Ten of Pentacles. It's like your hard work will be paid off and even more. You will have time for the things you you probably did not have time. And Spirit says, as we speak right now, in the next two months, you are going to see major changes in that. So whatever here is given to you, you might not feel it's good. Or you might feel it's not going to happen because something here happened in the past. There's something here related to the past. Don't hold the past or don't hold in the energy that didn't fulfill you. Because some of you, you are my focus on, I want to do this because I don't want to have that. Never do that. If you want something here to work, you see how that will work and how that will fulfill you. And excluding the things that were not fulfilling you in the past. I want to do this because... I want to love my life, or I love my, already my life. I want to do this because I want to feel free. I'm looking for, I manifest this. Because I'm hearing some of you is just like, I, I want this new beginning because I don't want to go in the past, or I don't want to go and be the same person. You are never the same. You're always changing. You're always changing. So there is... There is news, there is movement, there is fast movement. And this is going to bring you a lot of happiness. A lot of happiness. For some of you, a situation here, it's over. We have that all the tense, inclusive the will. A situation here, definitely it's done and over or is going to be over. And something here, it's already in the booking or in coming in. Five of Swords, be careful here because someone here wants to keep you in the same box, same old. Don't look for it. It's like you you know, this comes like a test from some, some kind of energy. And here is the Two of Swords. Nine of Wands, Page of Swords, King of Swords, Queen of Wands. Here it is. For some of you, if this is your ex and tries to bring you back or try to, to call you back or something here, let them go. Or it's time for them to move on. Yes, you are already into something new or you are already moving towards something new. Page of Wands. For some of you, you are going to have a conversation here with this person. Or something here speaks of this person, kind of they wanted you to come to them. But it seems here for some of you, you see the things much differently now. Or Spirit says, whatever you see the things, that's the right way to look at. And again, it's like for some reason, it's telling that don't let others to influence you no matter how they think you are right or not or how on their point might be because you're looking in the right direction you've been guided and many of you you clearly see this guidance through so Sag again don't back down, darlings. Love and light. Have a lovely week. And if anything resonates, let us know as well. If you're not yet being part of this channel, please do. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.